see there are three things we all should do every day. We do this every day of our life. You're going to, what a wonderful, number one is laugh. You should laugh every day. Can I ask you number something without getting too intimate? How do you know after, uh, I mean, we'd gone out a couple of times, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why is she laughing? Wait a minute. <laughs> Why is she laughing? See, there's the difference right there. And I didn't see you running to the phone to call mom and dad after we went out a couple oh, times. What Johnny. was there about this fella? Uh, that, that was different than you? Yeah. <laughs> Number two is think. You should spend some time in thought. And number three is you should have your emotions moved to tears. About a year ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. My doctor advised me to go home and get my affairs in order, which is doctor's code for prepare to die. It means to try and tell your kids everything you thought you'd have the next 10 years to tell them in just a few months. It means to make sure everything is buttoned up so that it will be as easy as possible for your family. It means to say your goodbyes. Having lived through it, I can now say this to you with a bit more certainty than when death was a useful but purely intellectual concept. No one wants to die. Even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. And yet, <laughs> death is the destination we all share. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Think about it. If you laugh, you think, and you cry, that's a full day. That's a heck of a day. You do that seven days a week, you're going to have something special.